Uh, greetings Pisces and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and um, for my Pisces, we're uh, joining in together on this journey. And whether you're staying at home or traveling boldly, uh, we're on an adventure together. And uh, this is what I have for you uh, today as I begin my journey south to uh, Machu Picchu, to that sacred site in South America. And for those who are from South America, I'll be traveling to meet you uh, soon. And so this is what I have for you today. Uh, for my Pisces. And I hope you're doing wonderfully well and you are boldly planning to take something out into the world. Uh, you, the world is your oyster. You have it in your hand. In the palm of your hand is this whole uh, manifest world. And it's exciting. And you're uh, boldly going after it. And this is going to indicate that you're growing, you're changing, Pisces. Uh, you've got power to overcome whatever uh, these um, energies are because you are all fired up intuitively and you've got the energy to move forward. Uh, and uh, you're going to have a creative idea as you move on this trip, on this journey. Um, and it's going to be that you're going to commit yourself to this uh, boldly. And it's coming with a sense of the page of swords where you're going to take it out there. You're learning about it. You're curious. You're curious about the world. You're curious about what's out there um, in other cultures, with other people, in other landscapes. What is the nature um, around you when you're traveling? And you're going to um, thrive in extremes, maybe uh, take an adventure, go mountain climbing, uh, go into the jungle, or um, be doing something very unusual for you because you're building um, structures in your mind. And you're going to um, also uh, listen deeply to what's coming to you. And you're going to listen to the advice of others, perhaps, as you take your personal power and courageously uh, move forward. Um, and you're going to get the respect and command that of others. Uh, and to know that you're going to, um, your words are very important right now. They have um, very important power um, to uh, direct you, uh, to clarify, uh, to explore mentally. Um, and it's coming because the moon is at the foundation, maybe out of your field of awareness, but there is a transformation. This is a Cancerian energy you could be connecting to. But you're moving out of this unclarity, um, out of the waters on this new path. And the moon is about fluctuating energies, about not seeing things clearly, or that there's a lot going on in the dark that you can't totally understand uh, but you're gonna um, know that there is this love and support around you and you're gonna get the information that you need uh, and you're gonna uh, also um, see that if there are secrets being kept about what you're learning and where you want to go maybe that's important right now uh, so you can um, come into this fulfillment and the moon just go through cycles from the new moon to the full moon and back so there are changes going on within you Pisces uh, emotionally um, and, and this indicates also that you're gonna um, see things clearly but right now you might not be able to and that's okay because uh, that's at the foundation you're getting the clarity you're learning about something you're going to listen to people's advice. Uh, and you are <clears throat> recently had to experience a sense of an ending. And this could have been difficult. But the new day is dawning. Uh, so the sun is rising out of this moonlight, out of something that was not clear. Uh, but this is going to signify a metamorphosis uh, of your life. Uh, there is a rebirth. But something had to come to a completion. And uh, change is on the horizon, and that was recently, Pisces. And you're going to have this personal growth by being honest and really self-examining uh, under the moonlight what might have been deceptive or unclear. You're seeing it clearly. You're dealing with these, the dog and the um, wolf. These are uh, 
domesticated aspects of yourself, but things that are more wild. And you're coming to look at that and to simplify your life by letting go of things that no longer serve you from the past. And an end of an era is behind you. And you're going to be um, feeling this renewal coming into the future because it's going to bring in a celebration, uh, a partnership, a coming together, a, a new finish line that you have completed and stepped over. And when you step over that, uh, look at the celebration and there are people around you celebrating as well. And there's your new home you're celebrating. So something needed to end because uh, it was maybe um, out of control, not working for you, no longer uh, needed. And you needed a renewal and in, in perhaps a relationship, a partnership. Uh, and you're going to uh, move forward with a lot of financial rewards, Pisces. You might not even uh, see them coming because under the moon you might have seen things fluctuating. Uh, your money, uh, your worth, your uh, creativity, that energy. But now uh, there are rewards coming, and they're coming with a celebration. This could be coming uh, during this 1111 portal. That's November 11th. That's coming up in uh, less than 10 days. So they're going to be a feeling of rewarding yourself uh, for this sweet success that you're tasting now at the crown the higher powers want you to receive it like a fountain a flowing over you and you're going to be uh in a period of freedom of expansion um, where more choices are open to you and what is coming right now for you to see is uh, this energy of the magician well as you release the old uh, the magician can come into that lemon skate that figure eight that eternal signal of manifestation and you have the infinite power as you connect to your source uh, and let go of anything uh, from the past so you can uh, nourish your wealth of uh, make good decisions um, be generous be nurturing of what it is you're creating and to know you have a lot of personal power now uh, to celebrate your gains, to feel this freedom, to feel the world is expanding for you, Pisces. And it's coming because you're going to nurture uh, and be very down to earth during this phase. Uh, you, uh, it's required of you to uh, be intensely loyal to whatever it is you're working on and the people around you you care about to be sympathetic uh, to maybe others around the world or to the environments you're going to to understand to bring a sense of um, helping others in need and you're going to make magic though and have your personal power uh, connected to all of those elements on your table and you're going to bring them down as above so below and to work with um, overcoming any problems uh, that you have faced uh, but you're gonna um, move into a sense of uh, working maybe in something very innovative and high-tech um, or something new and be a risk taker um, creatively and you're gonna have determination and a strength of personality is growing uh, this is a uh, the first card this is the number one this is the beginning of the journey the fool steps out on a leap of faith on an adventure a new beginning and meets up with the magician that's the first uh card that the fool meets in the tarot and that is going to be uh helping you to uh, overcome any personal problems personality uh, issues and you're going to take charge and action and move uh, towards your own uh, deep inner uh, knowing knowing what is right for you knowing what you want to manifest and it's coming in now because of the nine of pentacles well there is wealth abundance security uh, independence and you have this as well so you're celebrating this completion this finish line this abundance of a phase of things coming to completion from the magician you made that magic uh, your investments are paying off uh, there is a possibility of maybe winning something like the lottery or you could have you could be winning some experience uh, winning at uh, this sense of um, 
knowing that whatever you've worked on and focused on and sent out there has come back uh, and you've made the magic with it. You're going to manifest and be very powerful at this time, Pisces. And it's coming because you have choices that are coming in um, that will um, see you have choices in terms of how you're going to uh, deal with uh, all of this um, possibility, all of this abundance, this rite of passage, this freedom, this new opportunity to move, to travel, to adventure, to manifest. And um, you're going to have um, a possible maybe psychic uh, experience, an illumination. Um, and you're going to be open to this. Even if it's your own, this kind of risky venture, you know you have the financial security behind you and you have that independence uh, to know how to send that spirit bird out as your help and to bring it back in with what it is you know uh, and you're wishing um, for something uh, and you're going to make a choice now. And uh, that is coming on this journey for you, Pisces. And us sending you so much love. And these are the cards as we come into uh, the wrap up. Uh, you come in with a lot of abundance and uh, financial support and success. You've made good investments. You've worked hard. And it's coming in because there were choices to be made. Um, there are a lot of them. You could have been under some kind of delusion or um, wrapped up in fantasy or daydreaming but you're going to bring things down to reality make them real ground them and you the way you do that is with the magician as above so below to connect to your um, personal power but to a deep a spiritual understanding of how things happen how things are created and they're created through loving and nurturing and productivity and working hard at what it is uh, that you um, love, you care about, you want to help others. You um, are also very organized and maybe there was a kind of sense of a noble uh, cause uh, that you are trying to bring down with your personal power. Um, but you're celebrating this freedom, this expansion, this growth. This could be in an announcement of a marriage or a joining together in a new kind of partnership. But you're going to celebrate this rite of passage and reward yourself. You are rewarding yourself, Pisces, right now um, for the success you've already achieved. And you're going to feel really alive and excited right now. That's what the energy is bringing you. Um, and uh, you did this because you let whatever was not serving you that needed to come to an end, you let it go. And you bring um, entering into this new day, this new sunrise, this new possibility of growth. Uh, you're putting an old arrow behind you, Pisces. And you're going to um, have a personal rebirth. Uh, and great changes are coming. And these changes are coming because you are planning this. You're putting something out. You know the world is a big place and you're going to explore it boldly with confidence. And you're going to be uh, successful um, and you're going to commit yourself to this new project. And it's going to maybe you're needing to look at any kind of uh, a delusion or anything that is not clear. And you're going to develop and evolve out of this toward this um, new dawn, the path you're going toward. And uh, there are going to be um, secrets that are going to be uh, looked into, and maybe you're going to get some information about them. And if you feel that your security might not be um, there, you know it will be uh, because uh, you are having your faith and your personal powers are being tested, but uh, you're going to think clearly. Um, with the information you're going to receive because you're getting it through curiosity, study, exploring, uh, talking, communicating. Um, and you know that you're going to thrive in the extremes, um, whether you're traveling or doing some extreme sport or something that is very uh, physically daring, you're going to go for it. And you're going to design, build, uh, be an engineer, work hard, uh, and listen to the advice of others uh, as you come into uh, this Nine of Pentacles, this independent 
wealth, this luxury, uh, and you nurtured it, and you know it's uh, you are ready to reap this reward, and it's coming in quickly. And whatever ended that you ne needed to get information on, it, you let it go. It's over now. Uh, and it's coming in with freedom, expression, a rite of passage, moving forward uh, under this portal into a whole new world, a Pisces. And that is so exciting for you. And uh, please let me know how this resonates for you as you come into this reading today. And I will be uh, doing readings as much as I can on my uh, month-long journey ahead. And please join me. And sending you love. Bye-bye, Pisces. And uh, see you next time.